veteran dance hall artist Mad Cobra, is facing up to 30 years in prison after he was arrested in Florence County, South Carolina last week. The popular 90s Jamaican musician, whose real name is Ewart Brown, is charged with trafficking cocaine and possession of a weapon during a violent crime, after he was pulled over and arrested on Tuesday, July 25. Brown, 55, was taken into police custody after he was caught speeding on Interstate 95, Sheriff T.J. Joy confirmed, per Fox 8. Local outlet WBTW News 13 reports that Brown agreed to a search of his vehicle after deputies gained reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. During the search, officers discovered two kilos of cocaine and a 9mm Beretta pistol inside the vehicle. Brown was arrested and charged with trafficking cocaine and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. He was held at the Florence County Detention Center before being released on a $125,000 bond. The recording artiste turned drug dealer was given surety bonds of $5,000 on the charge of possession of a weapon during a violent crime and $120,000 on the charge of trafficking in cocaine 400g or more. Some people see Cobra's situation as one of greed, however it exposes the lack of ambition of many recording artists. Many rappers and dance hall artists are known to go broke after years of making money in the entertainment industry because they do not invest their money wisely. They instead try to live a lavish lifestyle above their means. American rappers are known to purchase silly chains, unnecessary cars, silly overpriced bags and expensive clothing brands, only for the purpose of bragging. However entertainment is a very fragile job, and once popularity slows down the bills are usually still in full effect, and by this time the once popular artiste is forced to either file for bankruptcy or resort to illegal means to fund the lifestyle, or take part in other less attractive means of gaining an income, like the degrading and demeaning love and hip-hop show. Cobra now faces 30 years in jail and is set to be released at age 80, unless he strikes a deal with the United States government. American rapper Fetty Wap is currently serving time in prison for a similar situation. Fetty Wap who has billboard charting singles like Cobra, was also found guilty of selling and distribution of drugs two years ago. He like the accused dance hall artiste, was known to waste money on silly items, as well as getting into multiple and costly relationships with gold digging women. And by now male celebrities should know that they are targets by gold diggers for their money. Women who only want to get pregnant for their own economic security, however many of these artists are too dumb to realize that they are being used as pawns by women, and as such the cycle continues, as we continue to see recording artists and even athletes fall from grace. Like 50 Cent said, in high school you were the man, what happened to you? In order to curtail this sad situation, recording artists should educate themselves through financial literacy, they should also resist the urge to be driven by vanity and social media. And like my grandmother used to love saying, save some of the money for rainy days. We hope both Mad Cobra and Fetty Wap will learn from their mistakes, and will get a chance to return to society instead of dying in jail, like so many people who made silly mistakes have over the years. We also hope that other recording artists will take this situation as a lesson, although many are too dumb to do so. Many will still get tricked by women for their money, thinking they got handsome overnight. Many will still spend their earnings on bullshit vanity items, for social media clout and a fake rich lifestyle. Sadly many will never learn.